What's up everyone? I'm Tamara and welcome to Tam Psych Advice. So today we're going to be talking about the ENFJ and the ENTP and why they make a bad couple. And I'm trying not to laugh while I'm saying this. I know there are going to be people coming for me that are not going to like that I said that this makes a bad couple and I don't care. Just joking. I definitely care about your opinion and I want to know your opinion. Do you agree with me? Do you think this makes a bad couple or do you think this makes an outstanding couple? And let me just say this. I believe, I'm almost positive that I've already done a video on them as a couple and I talked about why they make an amazing couple because I think that they can. I think they can intrigue the daylights out of each other. I think they can have endless conversations. I think there's a natural attraction there. So if they just go with attraction, it can work. Here's the thing. If you want to date each other, go for it. Go for it because there are lots of couples and if you're one of them, that are this combination that are super successful and happy together. Definitely check out my other video on this couple if you don't like this topic. Because in my head, I have two pictures. One is of the ENFJ ENTP successful couple. And in my head, there's also the ENFJ ENTP clashing couple. It really depends on the makeup of these two types because you're going to get variations on everybody's Myers-Briggs personality type. So it's got to be that right type of combination. So let me tell you what won't work. If you have an ENTP that is trying to mate and relate to an ENFJ and they are not grounded at all, Let's say they have a million ideas and they don't execute any of them. That's going to be an issue. If they are really extreme debaters, ENFJs like harmony. So that's going to be an issue because they're not going to want to debate everything. They're going to be exhausting with the sparring, like if it's to the extreme. Sometimes, not sometimes, because this does not apply to all ENTPs at all, but there are some ENTPs that kind of like to game play, and ENFJs are constantly reading people. That's just what they do. And so if they feel like this person is playing games or they're trying to one up me or, you know, we are going somewhere together and you leave me there or not to say that they would do anything that extreme. But I mean, I've seen that happen before where it's kind of like lots of gameplay, doing things to get a rise out of the ENFJ that is going to drive them bananas they don't want to play those kind of games like they see through everything they see through the tactics the strategies so if you have an ENTP that is like hyper focused on doing that that's going to be a problem but on the flip side ENFJs can be touchy sometimes they may not show that to everyone but they are going to show it to a mate or if they don't they're going to be really mad and seething inside ENTPs are a tougher type and so that's gonna get annoying like if every little thing you're sensitive to or they said one thing and it and it rubs you the wrong way or you're you're reading into everything and sometimes it's just your feeling side that is an overdrive and they're not meaning to offend you or upset you that's going to be a problem for an ENTP. If you have an ENFJ that's extremely rigid in their thought process and their procedures and how they want to do things and there's no flexibility because some ENFJs or sometimes 
they can get in that lane where they're not wanting to be flexible at all, that's going to be a problem for an ENTP. So there are just some areas that really frustrate these two when it comes to living together and making their lives work together with certain types. Now, if you want a couple that does work together, I've seen many ENTPs who have developed their skills for completing things like it's not just about ideas it's about executing like I've seen some ENTPs like write 10 books and run huge organizations and really just make things work if you are that type of ENTP that's gonna work better for an ENFJ because they like and need a lot of closure there are also ENTPs that are very sensitive or more sensitive you know there's that big group that's really compassionate and understanding and they really like helping people with their problems that type of ENTP would be great for an ENFJ because they're going to be checking on them they're going to make sure that they're okay they're going to be very aware and sensitive. So on the flip side, there are ENFJs that would be a much better fit for an ENTP who have been raised by perceivers. And this particular brand of ENFJs, they think big, they think extravagantly, they think very creatively, they want a lot of people around them. They don't want to just be in this little box they want to think outside of that they are very comfortable with moving in a very perceiver like way and i think that would be a better fit for an entp like they would really enjoy this particular version of an enfj because they're gonna be like oh my gosh give me more ideas more ideas more ideas they're they have a more insatiable appetite for that. So it's basically about finding your match within types. And I can say that really for every single match that you put together. I'm not saying at all that this couple can't work. I think there is a natural attraction. And I can't say that for every type. I know that's not true for a lot of types. But with this type, it just comes natural. They feel this deep attraction for each other. At least I think so. I mean, I'm an ENFJ and I find this type very attractive. Like I think they are one of the most appealing personality types on the planet. It's just when it comes to making a relationship work, they both have to have certain ingredients at the end of the day to be okay with each other and to enjoy each other. This is one of those unique couples that I feel like fit fantastically in both categories. Either the great couple that is just awesome together or that disastrous couple that could end up not being able to stand each other. And I can't say that for most couples. I think a lot of couples are either really great or they're really terrible and they're not both. So I just felt like this was worth doing. So let me know what you think. And you can be honest because we're all different. You, Your opinions may be different from mine you might think that this is the dumbest thing you've ever heard so just let us know in the comments if you've ever dated this type and if you've ever if you're even married to this type and what you think works and what you think may not work and by the way i wrote a book called flip the script on love so if you're interested in either one of these couples 
it will help you to read my book because I'm talking about how to get the romance that you want, how to heal. I'm a counselor as well. So I think I have some insight that can help you. So check it out. It's on Amazon by Tamara Hunter Zion. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.